So the next setup or the configuration that we have to do is sales tax settlement periods. Let's do that. So sales tax settlement periods is also here under tax authorities in the same navigation tax module and direct taxes sales and sales tax settlement periods here. Click on sales tax settlement periods. It's an empty form again, so we have to create sales tax settlement periods. So what is sales tax settlement periods is how often you settle the trade taxes with the authority. Suppose if you are settling on monthly basis, you will create period intervals on monthly basis to settle the taxes on monthly basis. If you are set, set if you and if your authority want you to settle on quarterly basis, you will create your sales tax settlement periods on quarterly basis. Or if it is yearly, you can create it in yearly basis. Up to you. So let's see. I'll just click on you. So I'll call it as GST again, settlement period name also. GST monthly settlements. I'm just giving it as so. Okay, then a compulsory field is there here as you can see this one authority you have to link to which particular authority the settlement periods are linked to so you have to give that gst here the one the one that we created gst authority right see this one gst authority so i linked that authority to this you can give a terms of payment like after after making a settlement here you have to pay the tax amount to authority in in five days, net five days or four days like that. It's up to you. Or you can give then period interval unit days, my daily, monthly or yearly. How often you settle your taxes? So I'll say monthly and once in a month. So if you want to give quarterly, you can give three year for every three months. So I'll give one for every one month. Then use batch processing for sales tax settlement. If you want to run it in the batch in the background, you can enable this so all the time you run the settlement it will run in the batch or it will run on the screen if you don't select this option and you also have the same option of running it in the batch at the time of settlement also no need to enable this one here at the time so we have created the sales tax settlement periods which monthly settlements given the authority and given the period interval as monthly and one so since we are about to settle the sales taxes on monthly basis. So I just gave this option here. So then you can add the details here, period intervals. So you have to definitely add the period intervals here. I'll add one. So from date, I'll just say, so I'll start it from the 1st of April. So since this year starts from 1st of April in India, first from 1st of April, I'll just start. Okay, just assume that and the then what I'll give is April 30, 2021 is the end date, right? 1st of April to 30 April 2021. So you have to create another period so that you can add manually or you can use this option new period interval here. If you click this one, automatically next month will be added. So how system knows that only one month has to be added because you give the details here. For every one month you will have a period so automatically next month will be created if you keep on clicking you will have next month created automatically september october november december see here january 22 february 22 march 22 april 22 so until march you can create and leave it over for next year you can create if you want to no problem or you can later command also create it in so that's how we create the periods for every month since we are going to settle it for every month we can create it for every month or if you are going to settle it for once in three months like quarterly basis so you will get the quarterly periods here like starting from first of april to june 30. so again it start from july 1st to uh, september 30 then October 1st to December 31st. So it will come in quarters. So it's all up to you or up to the business requirement. How often they are settling the sales taxes. Some people will settle once in two months. So some will, so it depends on the country. It depends on the authority. 
it depends on their requirements so it will dynamics provides you the flexibility to create the settlement periods however you want on daily basis or monthly basis or yearly basis so you can create it as if anyway then you have one option here called blocked for settlement by if somebody is already working on this settlement some employee so this is the list of employees in our company somebody is working so you can keep that person name here or that person can name his own name here so that this period will be blocked by that person he is the one who is responsible for settlement if somebody some other person is coming and working on settlement it will not allow that person to process the settlement because it is already blocked for this particular name here so you can regulate your users by giving only one user who can settle the sales taxes by giving the name here in this particular area okay then you can also see the sales taxes per interval sales uh, settlements per interval and sales tax per interval in case if you post any sales tax in this particular period if you click on sales tax per interval you will normally see the list of taxes posted but you don't have any taxes posted so you don't see any amount it's all empty we'll see that further when we post some taxes it will show up clearly again settlements per interval if you don't if you do any settlements in that month you can do multiple settlements within a month again if you have done anything like that or corrections you can see that here but not doing any we did not do any so it's not it's empty here again we have here posted sales tax if you click on this it will show the entire sales tax posted for this particular settlement period not for this one period but for the entire periods and for the entire tax sales gst authority you will see that tax is posted until now but we don't have any yet we'll see them again sales tax payments in case if you had make any settlements multiple settlements over different different periods so we will see all of them here in this page from here if you want to delete this you can delete this or if you want to remove any periods you can work on removing the periods so all up to you that's how we create this sales tax settlement periods so often if you select this periods like you would go and settle the sales taxes on monthly basis so once you do trade so that monthly basis taxes will be settled so we'll come back to the point little theoretical so how the sales tax settlement will be done i'll just explain you see earlier we have discussed two concept called as sales tax payable and sales tax receivable right so let's come back to this point sales tax payable and sales tax receivable i told you sorry this is at the time of sales and this is at the time of purchases so i'll ask you general questions so here we have collected 10000 amount 10000 dollar tax from the customers for one month let's say suppose here we have paid 5000 dollar taxes to the vendors for the purchases so what has to be done now if i would settle something uh, how much i have to pay to the authority or how much refund i can take from the authority what is the situation here so this is collection this is paid tax by you so at this situation what has to be done or oh, sir what is the thing that has to be done in business see you have collected 10000 taxes from the customers which means that 10000 taxes are with you and you have paid 5000 taxes for your purchases to the vendors different vendors you bought some goods and paid 5000 in that particular settlement in that particular one month let's say for example which means you have collected 5000 extra taxes compared to what you have paid to the vendors or what you have paid to the authority let's say example there is a net difference of 5000 5000 how much so on which side it is highest sales tax payable side payable means you are liable to pay it again so out of 10000 5000 you will deduct and another 5000 is the payable tax to the authority so you will pay that 5000 to the tax authority or you are liable to pay that 5000 to the tax authority in that month okay that's the situation when you make a sales tax settlement the net amount will be evaluated and if it is more on the payable side you have to pay it if it is more on the receivable side you will claim a refund from the government or from the authority suppose if sales tax collected here is 7000 and here it is 8000 it is 
So you have collected 7000 tax only 7000 and you've paid 8000 for the goods that you bought in that particular year in that particular month. Sorry. So then what happened here? The tax that you collected is less than the tax that you paid means there is 1000 extra tax paid by business to the authority. So you would claim a refund from the authority for that 1000 amount here in this situation where the paid taxes are more. So this is what we call as sales tax settlement process. In the sales tax settlement process for a particular settlement period, like so let's say for example for April month, it would evaluate the total taxes that you have collected from the customers and total taxes you have paid to the vendors depending on the direction of the tax. And the net amount will be either you have to pay or you might have to receive from the authority. So that will be evaluated depending upon the sum up amount or the net amount uh, of these two direction taxes or tax directions. So every month, so it depends not every month or every year or every quarter. The process will be the same. You would evaluate the net amount at the end and you will either pay it or claim the refund from the authority. So here in the same in this situation also we will for every month we will settle it and find out the net amount how much has to be paid or how much has to be received. So we'll see that part once after postings and transactions on both the sides we will come at the end. We will try to run the settlement and see the net amount and how invoice is created for the authority for the net amount. OK, so this is this is all with the creation of sales tax settlement periods.